Welcome back to Mitzi Creek Farm. Today is Sunday, April 14th. You can see behind me our pastures are just starting to turn green. We don't have much for growth on them or anything. We have five Dexter cows that three of them are bred, two of them are steers. They are still eating hay. And um, since it's so nice out, I just want to let them uh, graze a little bit. Not that they're going to be able to get anything off of here, but this is what we call our summer main pen or our summer sacrifice pen. And the, um, what we ended up doing is we ended up taking and putting up some uh, electric netting fence uh, right there and right there just so that they can come over, get out of the dirt because there's nothing growing in there and just to give them a little bit of space to run and graze and lay in the grass. I know it's not much, but uh, all three of them are due any day now, and it just would be really nice to give them a little something extra. All up and working, Coco is watching. She knows the drill. Cinnamon got up too. Come on, Coco. Honey's like, nah, that's okay. <laughs> I'd rather stay here in the shade. Come on, Coco. Come on. This is our first time grazing without um, a big herd. So it feels kind of weird and it kind of goes against everything we're taught for rotational grazing. This grass needs to be higher, um, but we only have the three cows. It's our first time without patches, our uh, white face, Angus and um, so I'm just gonna let them go and enjoy the grass. <laughs> Those two will be the problems if we have any problems, but we shouldn't. What do you think, Coco? She has no clue what to think. She's wondering why the grass isn't taller, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cinnamon. How are you, Mama? She's got to walk the perimeter. What do you think, honey? Look at that big baby belly on you. Oh, you're not even gonna let me get near you, huh? No? <laughs> you wanna stay over here? I'm not making you go back. Can I scratch you though? There we go. Coco. How you doing, honey? Huh? Does it feel good? I felt that. Smack me with your tail. I felt that. I'm not going to make you go back. You guys can enjoy the day over here. Enjoy the day. Oh, does that feel good? What do you think? Huh? Coco wants nothing to do with shenanigans from the two teenagers. <laughs> She's like, nope, I'm over here and I don't want to mess around. Don't mess this up for me. She found her brush from last year.
Today is supposed to be beautiful, just like it was yesterday. And then the weather starts getting rainy, hopefully, and colder, overcast. And um, for about the next week, it's supposed to be still warmer than normal, but overcast and rainy. And then um, the nights are supposed to be cooler. So we're just gonna have them over here for the day, just as kind of like an extra treat and get them off of that. Uh, it just, it would be nice for them. I just, I know how I feel in the spring and I can see them standing at the fence, great <laughs> looking over at everything turning green and being like, I want to get out of there. So, um, and we're just going to do this for today. And then when it starts warming up again next week, this should be a lot longer. Um, and then we can start bringing them over. We'll probably do like a half a day at a time just to gradually increase the amount of grass they're grazing because we don't want them to get sick. And then um, as everything else starts growing up, then we'll increase grazing. Um, usually it's about mid-May that I let them over here, but with just the three cows and two steers, our herd is a lot smaller. And my hope is that if we start letting them over here, let's say during the day, then I could potentially pasture seed this and let this rest during the day. And then um, that way we can get a head start on planting seed and getting some new pasture grass growing in here. But that is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.